Welcome back to the CNBC TV 18 special. I also caught up with the managing director of Escorts Limited, Nikhil Nanda, on a day when the company showcased a new range of products with an eye to tap the global markets. Here's Nikhil in conversation with me. All right, with me now is the managing director of Escorts, Nikhil Nanda. Nikhil, many Hi. congratulations. And I remember the last time we spoke in December, you did give me a clue in terms of you know the what you're working on, the next generation of tractors. So here we have the family of tractors behind us. Tell me a little about the importance. Uh, you know, when do they go on sale? Well, this is a complete, uh, as we call it, the net series, new Escorts tractor series. It's a completely new platform. So you have behind you the compact range which are technology and platform for precision farming for uh, orchard vineyards and other application of uh, the kind of crops that the tractors will do the job. And uh, behind me is a 75 horsepower, mm -hmm. which again is again a brand new platform for global launch. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have also showcased the electrical prototype concept. Mm -hmm. So the idea of the launch is really to prepare for the future, to showcase for the future. And I'm very proud of the team at Escort who have done what they have done in creating a product that will be mapped for the precision of application for the crop that they will buy the product for. So when do you open open bookings? So as for the compact is concerned, we are taking bookings. Um, it's already started. It's I already guess. started. Okay. We have the 75 horsepower. Uh, tomorrow we have uh, our international day. We have more than 54 distributors across the globe coming in tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we are already taking bookings. So FY18, Jan, Feb, March, we will start seeing these products rolling out of our manufacturing plants. Oh, so Jan, Feb, okay, so the I first mean, quarter. I'll be saying May, oh, right. but uh, the prototype, I mean, a few lots of production will happen, mm -hmm. but uh, will reach the market sometime around April, May. Mm -hmm. Does this then sort of complete and cause sort of family of, uh, of products? I mean, or are there still some segments that, uh, you know, that you're still considering where, where you need to have some presence? So I think a lot of expensive work has gone in. So we'll have a complete range from 12 to 120 horsepower for Indian markets and the global markets for different kind of cultivation. So I think this is a beginning of many product lines that you will see from our platform. And um, I think this is just a start. So we're going to see more products coming out. I think the range will be a lot more fuller because okay. there are many other applications that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. And also in terms of the mission uh, compliance and the technology that is required for the different soils and conditions and the ecosystem mm -hmm. of our market in terms of preference. I mean, of course, India is our home market, mm -hmm. but we have chosen uh, five um, international markets as well. Which are US? Uh, you Latin have Latin America, mm -hmm. you have Africa, mm -hmm. you have uh, Southeast Asia, um, so you have USA. Um, so these four to begin with are going to be very, very important markets. So a lot of products which perhaps are not exhibited here, mm -hmm. but are being developed and will in the next uh, 10 to 12 months will be showcased mm -hmm. for specific needs on those markets. Or, and, we, and, and, and you will be exporting these products as well? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the, this is exactly. predominantly an export product. Ex yeah. And um, well, even a compact tractor, I feel there's a very large need of these applications, even in the Indian market. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you've done that with the compact, you know, with your with your power track series, which was a smaller, yeah. uh, you know, more value for money, uh, more frugal engineering. But uh, so so how is that different from what you're now attempting to do? So you see, power track is a, as you rightly mentioned, is a product that gives you the value for money. It's a very basic tractor. It has all the ability of giving the value per se, mm -hmm. in terms of economical uh, cost ownership. Mm -hmm. Farm track is more towards premium, more precision, high tech. It really is creating and uh, carving the future of what we believe will be the future farming method. Right. And today's launch of exclusive platform is also such platform whereby we encourage our engineers to come and be part of the solution of the global need. We all know by 2050 we will need 70% more food for 9.5 billion people. So this is a platform where we invite all partners and proud Indians and people who want to be a part of the journey. Mm -hmm. So that's a, a great moment for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, to, to really create a platform that can become institutional mm -hmm. and can showcase the best of what India can offer to the world. And that's why you perhaps were also part of the Prime Minister's sort of, you know, uh, uh, you know, poetry of people, uh, you know, to the brainstorm in terms of, uh, as far as agriculture uh, uh, growth is concerned and what India could do, what private sector could do. But, uh, but maybe that we can talk about, uh, uh, you know, some other day. Uh, since you're seeing that you, we're going to see more products, can you tell us also the segments where, or the, you know, in terms of the horsepower range that's, that you will now focus on now that these are out of the way? So um, we have the range from 12 to 120. Mm -hmm. So today you see up to 75. Mm -hmm. So therefore that much more room in terms of products that you will see in the future. So between 75 and 120. So we call that up to 120 and I think that really is the focus and that pretty much takes care of our focus in terms of our excellence, in terms of what we would want to bring for the Indian and international When market. does that happen? 
I mean, the entire program is mapped. Everything is well in on its path of delivery across in terms of value chain. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in the next two to three years, you will see a very large fill up. Mm -hmm. I mean, the last four years, I mean, the kind of product that we've added for the domestic market and the international market, mm -hmm. I genuinely feel what, with what we spoke uh, mm -hmm. in my last interview with CNBC. The confidence of ESCO's growth is not just coming merely based on the sentiments and spirit. Mm -hmm. It's actually coming in based on the kind of work we have done on mm -hmm. creating such kind of platforms and products. So today, even the tractors that we have launched, I mean, of course, they are platform intelligent, but they also give you the comfort, the luxury, the precision. Mm -hmm. So we, we also want to create a differentiation mm -hmm. when we talk about product launches from our platform. Right, right. This has been, so far this financial, it's been a good year for Escorts, barring the month of June, I think, which is where, you know, ahead of GST, I think there was some uh, sort of, you know, destocking happening and so on and so forth. Any kind of growth guidance that you can share with us, Nikhil? How do you see the remaining rest of the year finding out for you? So the year is looking great. I think the, the monsoons are good, the ecosystem is good. Uh, uh, I'm very positive. I, I feel that uh, we will uh, continue to meet our plans for the current year. Uh, I do believe the next uh, two years, we spoke about this in the last interview, that until 2019, I feel that the ecosystem is very favorable towards agriculture uh, climate. So ESCOS is very well prepared for the opportunity to address and meet in the domestic market and for the international. So I think the run for the next two years is going to be good. But it's a psyche that I, we have in management in ESCOS that when you're in flux, prepare for drought. Because we are a cyclical business. Right, exactly. So we need to create the, the, the oscillation between the, the good and the bad has to minimize. So we have already started a very aggressive cost optimization program and bringing in the agility factor whereby we sort of reduce the risk of dependence on the, 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 the seasonal effect on our right. business. Mm -hmm. So therefore, the, the product in many, many ways will address an open market for escorts, mm -hmm. like in the south, mm -hmm. in the west. So, so you're looking at newer markets then? So you have the compact yeah. range. I mean, the south of Maharashtra, we could not even enter because we didn't have a compact product. So there's a segmental correction. Mm -hmm. So strategically as well, these products will open up markets and avenues of growth which will reduce oscillation and de-risk the company's growth strategy in the future. You preempted my question. So diversification is a way to de-risk your business Diversification model. within the agriculture markets for the platform of precision farming, mm -hmm. which are creating markets, which now we can go with very confident, with a lot of confidence. Mm -hmm. And I'm already seeing a lot of inquiries and, and, and good products, uh, I mean, in terms of the kind of uh, the best results have been exceptionally encouraging. Mm -hmm. What's your team telling you the kind of growth that uh, escorts can look forward to as this financially as far as domestic market goes? Uh, you know, I don't want to give a number, but I think the team escorts is very, very prepared. Mm -hmm. They're all out to give their best. Everyone is sweating. And I'm really, really proud of the kind of alignment we have. We have already now an official um, launch of our 2022 vision as well. So yeah. we are also thinking ahead and planning for the current year. So I think in all, Escorts is prepared to meet the future. So I'd like to give that confidence to our stakeholders, to our opinion makers, that we are a company that wants to build a long-term value. You know, with your, um, uh, you know, with these range of products, what happens now to your market share? I mean, because, uh, you know, this is, this is a competitive market. Now you have global players as well. I mean, talk to me a little about the competitive dynamics. How much is the market? 11, 12% overall in the tractor segment? So, so you're absolutely right. I think growth is going to be a very, 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 very big emphasis and focus. So we're going all out. Now that we have the products, we have all the platforms that we needed to have. So the focus now is building an, a governance and a process-oriented way of giving an experience to customer and finding the customer in a manner without just pushing a product but pushing a solution. Mm -hmm. I think the approach, the dynamics, the strategy all have to evolve to change the market, the way market is changing as well. I mean, the way we sold and approached the, uh, the consumer of the past is very different to the future. So the excitement and the believability of Esquad getting a larger market share for sure, that's our aspiration and we're going to get it and we will achieve it. It's based on the fact that we have that software power along with the hardware power mm -hmm. of what you see today. So what's the sort of target for 2022? Tell me 20 years. Let's take, uh, let's talk long term then. You know, you, you are very good at what you do, so I wanted <laughs> to give you a number, but, but all I can say is that the growth aspirations are very high. Mm -hmm. We are not talking about incremental, we are talking exponential growth. So I still would want to show I've been giving you a number, but a number that will give a very big signal to the Indian and international market. Mm -hmm. The response here is to grow in its chosen applications, mm -hmm. because you also have to focus. Mm -hmm. And um, you will see that focus and that, that robustness in terms of growth. Mm -hmm. That will come. And let the time reflect that confidence mm -hmm. that I'm talking to you today. All right. A couple of last things, Then We are also seeing discounting back in the market. You know, that's what we are hearing from industry. 
your views? I mean, uh, how do you see discounting today as opposed to, let's say, six months ago? You know, I personally feel that discounting is very short-lived. Um, I don't think this is a long-term strategy that any company can live with or can survive. I think competitiveness means differentiation, compelling prop uh, propositions. You only discount if you are not confident about your offerings. So I believe, along with my team, that whatever we do, we create such exceptional value. Mm -hmm. And therefore, this launcher platform, that we create products that give you a different flavor, whereby you can be confident on not the discount, but on the ROI. Right. And um, we'll talk about it more. Mm -hmm. But Escorts is not giving discounts. Is that I mean, you should ask my sales and marketing <laughs> head on that. So, okay. I normally discourage it, but... Okay. okay. You know, uh, in conclusion, it's been, again, uh, uh, you know, I think investors are also giving a thumbs up to Escorts. I think they have sort of, I think there's a lot of uh, clarity now from the management in terms of what the turnaround strategy is. Uh, you know, so any message that you would have, because your stock has done really well, it's, uh, you know, it's been, you know, it's been on fire lately. So, uh, what can they expect? You've talked to me about the 22 vision. You've talked to me about this was a period of exponential growth and the long gestation period. I think now is, now is when the returns are also coming into the business. So, your message to so, investors? So, very overwhelmed. I want to thank them for their confidence. Um, I think this is a reflection of the confidence, not just me, but my entire team. I'm here because of a lot of people who are working behind the cameras. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm um, a big Bhagavad Gita you know, believer, so as Krishan says, focus on what you must do perfectly, results inevitably will come. So as much as we desire results, but the focus is more on getting what we do perfectly. So I think we are very, very focused and we still have a long way to go. So we are very, very hungry and uh, I think that ambition and that passion is something that I'm seeing across as possible. So there you have it, Nick and Landa making a strong pitch to his shareholders to stick with Escorts Limited, a company that has given, of course, good returns, saying that the years ahead, Escorts is going to see exponential growth. But that's all we have time for on the CNBC TV 18 special. But remember, this was just a prelude to our continued coverage of the Siam annual convention. Catch me tomorrow as we sit down with the who's who of the auto industry to try and understand the challenges ahead and how the industry was preparing for it. From all of us here, thanks very much for watching.